It's the end of the first round of fixtures in the AIA Singapore Premier League. An explosive Eastern derby and it's the Stacks who made it count. Might fall to Torvik! And it's been coming! While the Sailors made their statement of intent. Like Cooney, Gabriel Quack! Yakety yak, it's Gabriel Quack with his seventh of the season! Seven games down, we'll have all the highlights and more right here on the SPL Show. I cannot lie, but I have been looking forward to this one. In particular, the first Eastern Derby of the season. Hi guys, welcome back to the SPL show. And our focus this week lies right here at our Tampanese Hub when fierce rivals Tampanese Rovers and Geelong International went head-to-head -head in this Friday night clash. Both sides on the back of losses, both sides looking to bounce back in hopes of ending round one of the AIA Singapore Premier League on a high. Will the East be black or green by the end of tonight? We'll very shortly find out. It's live Friday Night Football in the AIA Singapore Premier League. The Stags of Tampanese Rovers against the Eagles of Geylang International who come into this in lowly seventh. Darts into the air with the Brazilian squares it nicely. Pull back to Maguire! And it's just over the bar. That would have been some strike. Mamedovic waits in the middle. Armin who links up with Boris Kapilovic so well. Boris! What a save from Zidal! What a cross it is as well by Armin Bostiak. Just gets himself that little bit of space onto the head of Kapitovic. What a save by Zidal. Yes, it's straight down the middle, but Zidal's at full stretch there to keep that one out. Her fan over the top, Mamedovic. Oh, oh it's going to be a penalty this time, yeah. it is! Well, that's really clumsy. Ishikawa. Well, I think he's kidding himself by fading disgust with that decision. Mamedovic! 1-0! Tampanese Rovers. And I suppose on balance, particularly with the last 50 minutes in mind, they just do not deserve it, Roshan. Yeah, and they deserve, it. deserve this lead, Tampanese Rovers. It's a well-taken penalty by Mamedovic as well. Just have a look at the little bit of disguise he puts on his descent. Zidal the wrong way. So opens up his foot, closes it just before he strikes the ball. The work being done by Ferdhaus. Here's Maresh up against Madhu. Gets it to Maguire. Through to Maresh, he's in on side! And the Eagles win it! Well, that was a lovely bit of interchange play. Tampany standing still in the area. And Maresh gets his third of the season. Tampany's finished off very tamely at Albrecht's last week, but they could be in here. Boris to retake the lead! And get him along for less than 60 seconds! Boris Kapilovic with another goal in his stunning season, his seventh of the campaign. Here's Amy Maresh, who got the level up before Boris put them back in front. It's opening up for Maresh if he can pull the trigger. Coming out wide, Irfan just doing enough. Lovely touch from Istin. Maresh is in, and it's time! is on the floor in the other half of the field. Army, can they get the Oh, go ahead, goal so nearly from Mamedovic. Wolfie and Bennett. Mamedovic, right there! Oh, wonderful save, Zidal. Mamedovic, he might fancy having a crack, or he might put it back to Nakamura! And Appy, he'll try and get this on to Armin, will he? Or will he go himself? Gets it to Armin. Boris on the edge of the six-yard box. Might fall to Torfield! for them, another response from Geelong, but uh, look, they were stretched all over the park there. A great game here at our Tampanese South, the first of four games coming your way this weekend has finished. Tampanese Rovers 3, getting International 2. Uh, it was a satisfying 
result. Um, there were areas of performance that, that we didn't do very well in and that's why we conceded some goals, but we, we live and we learn. I mean, we could have done, we could have defended better than, you know, I think the three goals was, was you know, loss of con focus and concentration and then we concede the goal, you know. I mean, I don't know about the, the penalty, you know, I, I, I need to see it again, but after you get the equaliser and then you concede and you concede a goal, that's not good for the team, you know, and, and I think the last goal was, was, was too easy, you know, because I think I, we just need to defend better, lah, you know, and especially in 1v1 situations. Yeah. The Stags ending round one exactly how they wanted, with all three points. Meanwhile, on Saturday, Haugang United were hoping to keep the pressure on champions Albrecht Segata when they welcomed the Young Lions. Going into match day seven, just one point off the top, it's fair to say the Cheetahs have more than impressed so far. But injuries were mounting for Clementio's men, so did that hinder them when they went up against a side who remained the only one so far without a win this season? Let's find out. We are at Haugang Stadium this evening for the AIA Singapore Premier League match between Haugang United and Young Lions. As uh, we see Haugang in action against uh, a team, Young Lions, who are at the bottom of the table and struggling, haven't won a single game yet this season. Uh, Haugang with a chance to go top, uh, at least uh, maybe for a short while. Joel Chu's done really well here. Good ball in, and Ridwan had to intervene in the first save. This is good stuff here from Haugang. The shot comes out, a good save there from Dylan Pereira. The flag had gone up, though, for offside. In by Yamazaki, good ball in. Oh, and a header from Lionel Tan straight to the goalkeeper. Takes a shot, Kaisu. Oh, and that hits the upright. Again, it skips off the surface. Was there a handball? Referee says he didn't see much in it. Oh, and Ilhan will look like he could have got through perhaps. And there's a, a yellow card. Remember, he'd been given a warning earlier on by the referee. Harris this time does stretch the keeper. Well, he went down. No foul given uh, Ryan Stewart. And then Harris shot. He was going for placing. He gets that up to Ryan Stewart, who's got a couple of options. It's a good ball in. Oh, and there's no real power in the header from Ilhan Fundy. Oh, actually, it was Kyrin with the header, and maybe Ilhan was in a better position for it. There's a bit of space here, Ilhan. Can he make it through? Ilhan Fundy! Oh, he shot straight. The goalkeeper he feels he was fouled. Lionel Tan straight at the keeper again. He's managed to get something on it. Now Joel Chu, Kenneth Glenquay in a good position here. Now is he going to pull the trigger? He does! And he fires it to the bottom corner! Glenn Quay, who's just come on, has given Young Lions a stunning lead here. He took his time and he picked his spot. And Glenn Quay makes his mark. Oh, that's a great save. Dylan Pereira. Free kicks. And that comes off the crossbar. And there's Applin heading that. Could it have been a little bit more with the time wasting and other incidents? Straight at Dele Pereira. Oh, they've got it in! Oh, and I'm afraid it looked to be a goalkeeping mistake there from Dylan Pereira, who couldn't hold on to the ball. And you just cannot deny that man, Tomoyuki Doi, who once again scores a late, late goal final charts. Is there going to be late drama? No, there isn't. Uh, the referee has called time and an absorbing encounter here. And the final score at, at Haugang Stadium is Haugang United 1, Young Lions 1. I mean, the, the, the easiest thing is to say that we are unlucky. Uh, Young Lions have, have done very well. I mean, defensively, attackingly. Um, we struggle in phases of the game, but at the end of the day, I think what's more important is uh, you do not lose games. Um, I'm proud of my boys. They they showed a lot of courage, team spirit, you know, hard work, teamwork, working together to ensure that uh, we keep to our unbeaten run. Oh, many things that we could have done better. Yeah, uh, of course, you know, 
the, the final stretch. Uh, we considered many, many set pieces and uh, we considered from one of them. Uh, yeah, it's something that we can work to improve on. Uh, yeah, but there are more things that we, we have to, but we need to go back and uh, look at it and prepare for the next game. The Cheetahs failing to find a way past the Young Lions, so it's a point apiece in the end between the two sides. Well, it's that time again where we take a little breather from all the action. Two more fixtures to come after the break, but before that, we had a little bit of fun with Tanjong Paga United's Blake Rich Yuto, where teammate Rushaidi put him through a little Singapore slang slash Singlish quiz. Check this one out. Test, test, test. Hello, hello. Test, one, two, three. <laughs> So Blake, since you have been in Singapore for quite some time, I would like to test you some of the Singapore slang. Okay, okay. go. Okay, what is your idea of shock? Shock. Shock. Yeah. No idea. No idea. Okay, so shock is like, you know when you score your first goal, your header, then you like celebrate in front of the camera, so and what do you feel? Oh, like passion, like happy, ah, yes, yeah. That, that's the feeling of shock. Shock. Yeah, the shock. Free kick, there's more defending to do that. Oh, no, no, no. Anything for Espindo. Blake Rizzioto can do as well. Makan, what is makan? Ah, food, eat, yeah. you know, makan. That one you know. Okay, then this one. Who is kena our game one? Referee Kayu, what does that mean? What? Referee Kayu. Referee Kayu? Yes. What does that mean? What do you think? <laughs> no idea. I mean, that's a word that's referee. A okay, maybe like a bad call, something that you don't like. <laughs> okay, yes, that's actually correct. <laughs> Kiasu. Yeah, Kiasu. Yes. Give me like an expression. Okay, Kiasu. Ah. Oh, this auntie so Kiasu. Ah. Okay, usually, like, Singaporeans will think this as an MRT station. You know, all the aunties will always stand in front of the door. One. So, oh. Why? oh, because they get in your way or yes. something like that. It's so a bit annoying, it? maybe yeah, a bit yes. annoying. Yes. Kiasu. Yeah. Kiasu. Kiasu is more like, yeah, like no, no patience. patience. Ah, Everything you okay, yeah, yeah. Happens a lot here, doesn't okay. it? Kipo. 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 K. Okay, well, I'm on my phone. Then you're like, hey, why are you so kipo? Oh, like nosy, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Like yes, a sticky, yes, yes. in Australia we say sticky beak. Ah, yeah. yes. Welcome back. Tanjung Paga United went into match day 7 on the back of their first win since 2014. Looking to build on that, the Jaguars faced a tough task when they welcomed still unbeaten champions Alborex Nagata. Let's find out how that one went down at the Jurong East Stadium. Welcome live to the Jurong East Stadium on what's been a rainy Saturday here in the Lion City State, but I'm delighted to report the rain has finally ceased. There is no sign of the lightning warning system and we're good for kickoff on schedule at 8.30 p.m. local time. Tanjumaga United against Albrecht Nagata. It's the Jags, fresh from their first win in 2,361 days last week against the Young Lions, against the unbeaten league leaders and champions in four of the last five seasons, the White Swans of Albrecht Nagata. On UN, gets it through. To Suboy, still Suboy, still Suboy, into the area, it's still Suboy! And that is some goal from Kiyoshiro Suboy, his fourth of the season. How on earth has no Jaguar defender been able to get near him, let alone get the ball off him there? And just when it looked like he'd held on to possession and ruined his chances by creating a too narrow angle. He produces a magical finish. They're starting to look threatening for the first time in this fixture. But they've got to be careful about the counter. It's two on two. The White Swans swimming forward, trying to get a second goal before half time. Suboy has got another. And just as they were showing promise in the Alvarex final third, the Swans go coast to coast in a matter of seconds. And Suboy's got two in the first 36 and a half minutes. Kunimoto sends it long and finds the desired target in Hashioka. Hashioka, another great cross! And it's a first half Patrick for Kashiro Suboy. He's bagged a triplet in 41 minutes after wonderful work from Hashioka. 
And again, they've just gone the length of the field with almost four or five touches there. What about the cross from Ashioka? And what about the bravery of Suboy? Haugang also only picking up a point at home to the Young Lions. If they don't pick up all three there, that'll be an opportunity loss. That's a lovely ball through. Kondo's in now. Kondo still Kondo! Slides it under Fashar of Skander is claiming handball. Referee Abirami unmoved. And they've literally gone through the middle of the Tang Jumbagar United defence there. Delwinda Singh mops it up. Kondo is a real pocket rocket and he's in again. Suboy, Kondo to his left. Suboy goes to the right and it's Tanaguchi for five. Options left and right. Suboy found Tanaguchi. And it's getting embarrassing now for Tanjong Bagar United. Jelani and Adam Shah have to rally the troops ahead of the game against Tampanese here. Oh, Fashar Iskand has done well, but he's out of his area. And the loose ball's fallen to Kondo. Open goal! And score number six. The Swans have six. Second half substitute, Kondo has two. And our referee here, Abirabi Naidu, blows for a game. The Albrecht Stigata have won supremely comfortably. Uh, I was satisfied with the result and the performance of the players. It was a tough match tonight, but I think we, we could show our strengths. Well, I, I, I think today uh, our transition was bad, but I, I'm, I'm, to be honest, uh, I'm really proud of my boys, despite the, the scoreline. I, I, I don't think the scoreline reflects on the performance they have. Uh, we, like, like we said before the, the, the match, I will try to get the boys to play as open as possible and see how we, are com we can compete with, with them. Uh, in terms of uh, shots, I think we, we got our chances as well. But I think they got a more clinical finisher in, in their team uh, rather than us. Uh. The unbeaten run continues. Six with no reply for the White Swans. Kiyoshiro Suboy with a perfect hat-trick on the night. And now finally we turn our attention to big spenders Lion City Sailors who no doubt were looking to replicate their latest showing. This time they welcome Balestia Khalsa right here at the Jalan Besar Stadium who themselves were intent on getting back to winning ways. A very good evening and welcome to the Jalan Basar Stadium for the final match in Round 7. It's a third of the way through the 2021 AIA Singapore Premier League after the Lion City Sailors entertain Ballester Khalsa. Sailors, Tigers, live from Jalan Basar, a game that produced plenty of goals when they met twice last campaign. That's a lovely ball through to play in Nikudin. Nikudin, Gabriel Quack! Yakety yak, it's Gabriel Quack with his seventh of the season, and it's an absolute scorcher. Wonderful cross from Nikudin, and Gabriel Quack picked that one out on the penalty spot. Matt recovers brilliantly, Gabriel Quack squares it, Lopez on the edge of the area, back to Gabriel Quack again, and they'll get a free kick right on the edge of the area. And this is a real promising piece of real estate as the warning goes out to Kiki Krychek. Shortly find out. Shot and... Oh, it's an absolute beauty! And there's the second goal. Well, all eyes of Gabriel Quack. Shardan went for precision rather than power, and it's lining past Seifel Nizam. Kiki Krychek. Krychek. Second by the cherry, and it's a goal bad for the Tigers. The Sailors fail to keep a clean sheet yet again. Shardan's corner. Flicked on by Diego Lopez. And the header into the ground from Stipe caused all kinds of problems. It, Kiki Krychek, header from Suzu. Krychek again! Well, he's got an eye for goal and how. Stipe to Diego Lopez and Gabriel Quack's onside. He's beat the offside line. Gabriel Quack's deep in support. Quack, Blasivat! 3-1 Sailors. It's taken them less than 100 seconds to increase their lead. And as Ballastia pushed forward for the equaliser, they got caught out. Wonderful vision and timing of the pass and run from Lopez and Quack. Saifula into the area. This is danger, Saifula! He deserves a goal, the youngster. He's been a 
a bright spark for the first 50 minutes of this match. He went close twice in the opening stanza. And he's got the better of Saifu Nizam there. He's a youngster with a real eye for goals. Nice turn from Zuzu. Zuzu squares it to Kiki Krychek. Inside to Zuzu, edge of the area. Heavy touch, but has one's there. Oh, just wide. And that will be the last action of what's been an enthralling 93 and a bit minutes. That just about does it from here. The Lions City Sailors winning by four goals to one against Palestir Kausa. I think it was important that we controlled the game. We knew what their strengths were and we had to control the tempo of the game and not give them a lot of uh, transition moments. We didn't control that too well in some parts for the second half, but overall, I think it was just a dominant display and exactly what we wanted. I mean, it's difficult because it's uh, individual players who can finish the game very fast and then uh, it's, uh, you're playing one of the best teams in the league. It was very tough and then he's uh, in artificial pitch. We're training every day in a normal grass and then, all this is, but congratulations to to uh, to sellers and uh, good game. An all-important three points for the Stacks over their rivals in the Eastern Derby sees them in fourth at just a point back, while champions Alborex Nigata remain unbeaten as they open the gap at the top to go three points clear. And after the first round of fixtures, it's the Young Lions who find themselves bottom of the table, still the only ones without a win this season. The big one this weekend will see second and third go head-to-head -head at the Haugang Stadium. The Cheetahs up against the Sailors, that's on Saturday the 24th of April. Meanwhile, Tanjong Paga United, in search of their second win of the season, will welcome Gavin Lee's side to the Jurong East Stadium. On Sunday the 25th, Alborex Negata will look to keep their unbeaten run going when they take on Balestia Kalsa on home ground. And the final fixture on match day 8 will take place at the Jalan Besar Stadium as Geelang International aim to put an end to their dreaded run against the Young Lions. Can you believe it? Round one of fixtures done and dusted and it's been nothing short of amazing. Do leave your comments down below on which you think has been the best match so far because I for sure cannot pick one. Round two, not far off, but for now, it's time for me to say my goodbyes and as always, I'll leave you with the top three goals from match day seven. See ya! Gets it to Armin. Boris on the edge of the six-yard box. Might fall to Tolfe! The Stag super sell with his third of the season and Gaylor will have to try and come from behind for a third time tonight. Shot in. Oh, it's an absolute beauty. And there's the second goal. Shot out went for precision rather than power and he's lining past Saif on his app. That's a lovely ball through to play in Nikudin. Nikudin, Gabriel Quay!